Hello, I'm Randy, the Chief Audio Man. I want to talk about music streamers. <laughs> Not the traditional sense, though. Music streamers that you probably already own. You just don't know it yet. So what is a music streamer? Well, if you're into audio, you probably know about or have heard of the Blue Sound Node 2i, Sonos. Everyone's heard of Sonos. Uh, Echo, Echo Dots, all that stuff. Uh, what is it? PlayFi, I think. Heos, it's a Marantz and Denon one. There's a lot of them, and they're getting ever uh, more popular. And they're being included in many, many products. And some people pay a lot of money for a music streamer. I would argue that you don't have to, and if you don't, you're going to have a better music streamer than if you would go out and buy one. Now, I will say that there's a Node, Blue Sound Node 2i, and I do want to buy that, and I do want to take a look at it and review it, because it actually integrates Amazon HD Music, which is my streaming choice, and I like it. So, what's a music server? This can be a music streamer, server, streamer, can be both, actually. Um, what is this? This is a Raspberry Pi, and this is a micro SD card. You go to the interwebs, find the best operating system for you, download it onto this, put it into here, fire it up, and there you go. You have a music streamer. This on top is a Hi-Fi hat. Hi-Fi hat is something that plugs into these pins here, and then instead of having the bad crappy USB output, you have a nice clean digital coax or digital optical out, which then goes into an outboard DAC and into your hi-fi system. I built this, uh, I didn't really build it, I put it together. I assembled it uh, for Spotify Connect because it is a Spotify Connect endpoint. And I think it's a Rune endpoint, but I think you have to pay extra for that. And it can do Tidal. So what do streamers do for you? They take, uh, they hook up to your network and then they stream music from your streaming services and or from your network attached storage device. I have one of those. It's called Synology. What I do is I rip CDs and then I upload them to the uh, music server. Cool thing about Synology is they have their own app. So I can take my phone. I can take this, which is an LDAC Bluetooth receiver, plug it into my Hi-Fi with a 3.5 to RCA cables, and can play my network music on it from my phone to this into my Hi-Fi. I can also open up Amazon HD and play that through this into this into my Hi-Fi. The one gripe I have against music streamers is their user interface because what they do is they provide an app to integrate your other apps. My other apps don't need integration because the app that we use to integrate the other apps isn't as good as the apps to begin with. That boggles my mind. That someone's going to create an app that's not as good as the apps that are already created but to keep them in one place. Well, I'd rather double click and then swipe the app I don't want away and then open the other app I do like and have a better user interface. Heos, one of the other only streamers that integrate Amazon HD and the UI is horrible. Uh, so is the PlayFi. Heos and PlayFi, their UI looks identical. So I'm willing to bet that Heos built it on the PlayFi platform. And I think PlayFi has been around longer than Heos has. My point is, you can take this and you can take this. This is an Apple product. Transmits an AAC. This receives an AAC. You play your music. That's not high res though. In order to get high res, you need Aptex HD, which this has, or LDAC, which this has. Also, products that have LDAC and Aptex HD are Samsung or Android products. This is a $200 tablet. This is a $60 Bluetooth receiver. Together, that's $260. That will play high-res music. That will play high-res music using your own apps that you already have and that you're accustomed to. You don't need any app integration. 
This plays up to 24-bit 96 kilohertz, and I would argue that anything above that is an outlier in your music streamer library. Almost everything that I stream is below 2496. There's a few things, but that's fine. It'll still it'll still send it out in uh, 2496. This also has an optical out. Why is that important? Because then it bypasses the internal DAC on this. And the internal DAC on this is not bad at all. I hooked it up to my Emotiva and I hooked it up to my Anthem and I sat in the chair behind you and I streamed music and I enjoyed it very, very much. Which leads me into my main point on almost every video. This is about enjoyment. This is not about who can spend the most money on a product. This is not about looking down on people because they don't spend as much money as maybe somebody else has. I kind of see this whole thing as almost like a... I see audiophiles as fancying, fancying them, or audiophile manufacturers fancying themselves as a very good chef. You can have a chef and you can have a cook. They can both make fried chicken. The chef might use grass-fed butter. The cook may use butter he got at Walmart. Bottom line is they both put them together and they both make a product whether that product made by the chef or whether that product made by the cook is better is up to us because it's all subjective. My main point for this channel is to give you the most musical enjoyment you can for the least amount of money. And this, to me, is a game changer. $60 LDAC AAC Aptex, Aptex HD SBC Bluetooth receiver. And it can make a device you already own or a device that you can get for a very low investment to be a music streamer that I would argue is better than the music streamers available at three to four times the cost. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. If you didn't, please like it. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you didn't like it, please subscribe. I'm Randy, and I am the Cheap Audio Man.